Yeah, I'm just going to do a hopefully very quick video on using Mod Manager and Content Integration or Stay at the K2. Go to Stay at the K2 page on Nexus Mods. Type in Mod Manager and the Mod Manager page uh, to, to make sure it's the green one. No hyphen in the middle, not this second one here, I want the first one. Then manual download. So, older, but fine. Grab that. Desktop. Throw it in there. Like I said, I've already got it, so I'm just going to replace it. There it is. Add that. Oh, got this much actually. Delete that. It's just so there is the mod manager, and you're probably going to want dev menu mod if you are downloading the video. If not, process is the same no matter you know, whatever you're downloading. Uh, so dev menu on Nexus manual. This will just tell you you need the mod manager because it relies on the integration. Right, download, download. Uh, out here. So there's my zip. Um, now you can extract it if you want, but you know, it's easier just to pick it up, chuck it in there. It will give you a list of any pack mods that are inside it. You just pick which one you want. So obviously, I'm going to want the dev menu opener and hit import. Uh, like I said, you can also just extract it. Uh, Drop the pack straight on there as well. Or you can go to add mod, do it manually. That's how you prefer. Like the zip, same thing. Um, if you feel like your mods are out of sync or you've deleted a file on the actual hard drive and not through the manager, like the refresh for you, or refresh obviously. Search mods. You can search for assets within the file. Uh, what I have in here, I think the only thing I've got in this file is index. Yeah, they'll give you the directory of the asset file and what mod it's in. Uh, it's also got conflicts. It'll tell you if it conflicts with anything else. Pop it open. Okay, so I just went and downloaded a couple extra mods really quick just to show you this feature. But when you add mods that edit the same file, it will pop up saying true for conflicts. Doesn't mean that the mod itself won't work, but certain aspects of it may not. You double click the mod. Anything that's fine is in green. As you can see, all of these files have not got a problem. This problem, uh, this file above here in nightmare mode ambient spawn setup is being blocked by dawn walking. And if I look in Dawnwalking, you'll see that the same file there, DLC Free Nightmare Ambient Mode, is blocking Super Horde. So Super Horde probably won't work very well because that's a pretty critical file. But at least you know kind of you know, what's wrong with the file. And one way that you can somewhat resolve these conflicts, for example, if you did have the file loading from Dawnwalker, decided you'd rather have the one from super hard you can just drag and drop the mod above and then you'll see it is now loading from super hard instead of dawn walking uh, you could also do this with the text boxes here um, and then it will just rearrange like so uh, so the main new feature for the mod manager is the integration pack um, as you can see here i've got the dev menu opener uh, and I'm using the Steam beta, so let's click that, whack the integration button, create the pack, and it will pull information from that mod and any other mods that I have that could potentially have been overwritten, and it will merge their data into a new mod. Uh, so if, for example, I had one of Lucifer's other scripting mods or one of Bershey's mods, uh, I can have them all working in-game. As long as they've actually got them set to different keybinds. 
or if I had, for example, uh, Zod's Wacky Wonderful Closet and someone else had made another clothing mod, I could integrate them and it would enable me to have all that content in the game at the same time rather than having to pick or choose which mod I actually wanted to use. And that's uh, yeah, basically much all there is to it. Uh, anytime you add or remove mods that have these effects, you want to come in here and whack that button again. Um, that will rebuild your mod integration and just load up the game and play. So yeah, that's all there is to it. So have fun, enjoy. I'll see you next time.